Hey, how you doing YouTube? This is Jonathan again, um, coming to you with a quick little tutorial on how to play bigger. And what I mean by that is how to give a little bit more substance and feel to the chorus that you're playing, whether you're playing um, in church or for choir or for prayer time, we want to make sure that we're always trying to, you know, give it that full rich sound. We're always trying to get better at that. And so um, I don't have my camera stuff set up right now. I'm just gonna, you know, go with the screen share. But uh, hopefully you can you can get a couple of the tips that I'm trying to give you today. So I'm gonna use as an example the song "Thank You Lord," and I'll do it in the key of E flat. So here's a little bit of it. Okay, so that's the beginning of Thank You, Lord, the first couple of lines. And as you notice, um, the song sounds good. It is Thank You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But it, it sounds a little, a little empty. There are some things that we can do to make that bigger. So if you find yourself, you're just learning how to play these songs, but you want to make it sound a little, a little more full, here are um, two things that you can do. I'm just going to share two tips here right now. Um, one thing you do is obviously is play more keys with every chord. So in that first example, I'm just playing for uh, the one, the thank, on the thank you Lord. I'm just playing that, right? So I got my chord up here and maybe I got my E flat, my one in the bass. But uh, one thing you want to start doing is trying to play more octaves with your, with your bass. So I'll do that. And in addition to playing octaves in the bass, so here I go, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. I'm also going to make this chord bigger. So I'm going to extend that E flat chord from G, E flat, B flat, all the way down to that other G. So, so now you see it's sounding a lot more full right now. And I wonder what else I can add. Maybe I'll play the E flat chord in my bass as well. So instead of just this, I'll play, I'll play all that. Now you're starting to have a really full chord. So always look for ways you can play even more notes in every single chord. So um, one more thing, I can add that F right there. So, so thank and then I'll do it on the, on the second note as well on the second word thank and then you and then Lord see how that sounds a lot more full than thank you Lord I'm doing thank you Lord right But just look at how many notes are lighting up on the screen there. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's almost all, all the fingers right there. Okay, so that's one thing you can do is play more notes. Other thing you might have noticed me do here a little bit is um, kind of roll my chords. So instead of playing thing, Want to play? Thank you, Lord. Okay, you see that difference? It's, it's kind of subtle, but it'll make a big difference in how your music comes across as you're playing. Um, so all I'm doing here is just if, if I know this is what I'm going to play, and that's just the E flat chord down here, E flat chord up here. I'm just going to kind of almost like an, an arpeggio, just. I, you can do it as slow or as fast as you want to depending on kind of the mood of the song and what type of song you're playing so I'm just going to go thing. okay 
and you can mix it up, mix up the speed. So maybe the first one you go, and then you roll it. Okay, so those are two things you can do to make your song and make your sound sound a lot bigger. So remember, I'm gonna play more, more notes with each chord and I'm gonna roll them a little bit. Obviously, you're not gonna exaggerate it every single line and every single verse, but just you know, throw it in there every, every now and then and it'll make a difference in your playing. So I'll go ahead and play the song through and uh, we'll be done. Thanks for watching. Be sure to share and go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well. See you next video.